All right, uh, I thought I'd do another check-in um, and just go over some personal thoughts of how I'm feeling and what I'm thinking. Um, I'm in a beautiful state of Colorado and I've been living off my bike now for 18 months. And I've gone through some major um, changes in, in, in my attitude, uh, major changes in my, in my you know, health, uh, major changes in, in a lot of things. Uh, number one, it's hard uh, physically. It's very difficult um, living on the road. Uh, any type of consistent workout routine, anything like that, is um, definitely difficult. This morning's a gorgeous morning, and I'm going to go for a run. But this trip has become very much like a job in the sense that uh, we've got uh, schedules that we have to keep and that we're we're constantly on. And and luckily, uh, we've been slowing down a little bit, spending a little more time promoting. Uh, in advance um, and that has given me a little bit easier time getting into these cities I mean there's been weeks where I've done you know three a day for six seven days straight uh, well shoot even more than that I've done a couple weeks straight with with you know three stops a day and it's it's just exhausting um, trying to keep that schedule um, you know uh, I still feel blessed. I mean, I still feel like I made the right choice. If I could be put in this place again, I'd make this choice uh, every time. I mean, I am seeing some of the most beautiful country in America. I'm riding some of the most gorgeous roads. Um, and it is, it is just, it's amazing. It's amazing to feel like you're making a difference in your community. Um, as beautiful as this is, as much as I'm enjoying this, the fact of the matter is we have a lot of military out there who are uh, still wanting for the basic needs this country has to offer. And we've got a lot of soldiers out there um, who have made the war overseas and now are home and fighting a war uh, inside themselves that we all can't see and we all can't uh, relate to. And I've had the pleasure of being surrounded by so many veterans over the last 18 months. Um, and to hear them uh, and relate to them when you live on the road with somebody and you're sleeping behind buildings and and you know who knows where uh, with somebody you get to know them real quick and you get to uh, find out some of the things that they're going through and these invisible wounds these PTSD uh, is something that I've really taken a strong passion to uh, losing 22 soldiers a day on our own soil is just not cool with me so um, that's why I've decided to put the rest of this campaign towards the Wounded Warrior Project and focusing specifically on PTSD and getting veterans out and getting them riding and, um, you know, making the public aware that just because you can't see a wound in this person doesn't mean that there's not something going on that's very serious. Um, and the more aware the public is, the more comfortable they'll be talking about it and the more uh, help is going to come out of it. So. The feeling of uh, letting go of all my stuff and helping others and exploring our country and experiencing life and sharing it with you all um, has not changed. It is, it is the best choice I made in my life and uh, I don't know what I'm going to do when I'm done. Uh, the end's in sight. I've got, you know, maybe four, six months left and I'll have hit every dealership. I'm trying to do something really cool and big for the final countdown, but, um, you know, then that's going to be it. I don't know. I don't have a job. I don't have a home. I don't have, um, I don't really have anything to go over to. I don't know. People tell me, oh, just keep riding, go ride another country, which sounds beautiful, but the road is a hard place to live and it, it will send you home. Um, I've made it this long strictly because I keep in mind, uh, our soldiers and our military. If it was just an adventure for me, I would have probably quit already. Um, as cool as it is, it's, it's, it is difficult. Um, and it's difficult to carry any type of normalcy in uh, a life or a relationship or anything like that. You know, it's a, uh, it's a single, uh, it's a single life, I guess. Um, but I don't know, maybe I will, maybe I'll ride some more. Maybe I'll have uh, more support in other places and, and, and be able to get out and do something like that. I would, I would love nothing more than to continue riding and continue helping. Um, you know, that's really it. I just wanted to kind of share how I was feeling. Uh, what I was thinking. I know I did a, a health video for anybody who watched that. It's nothing major. I'm not dying or anything like that. I just uh, been on the road for 18 months and felt like I needed a checkup and had a doctor who uh, didn't want anything to do with me if I was going to be coming back to him on a weekly basis it seemed. But I've got a new doctor now and he's awesome and uh, we did blood work and stuff. All the stuff you should get checked when you're going into your 40s and we'll get that stuff checked and just see how I'm doing. See if my iron's low or something. Who knows. Um, 
And other than that, uh, that's it, man. I'm gonna let you guys go. I am about to ride what is supposed to be one of the most beautiful highways uh, in America. It's the Million Dollar Highway. I believe it is the highest elevation mountain pass there is. Uh, you're kind of looking at some of it there behind me. I camped out here in this rodeo here last night um, in this little bitty country town that's pretty cool. I got to do the Grammy thing. I don't know if you guys got to see that video. If you didn't, you should check it out. I got to uh, <laughs> tour the store where the Grammys are made, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to end with my favorite thing. Uh, my favorite thing about this trip is not the highways. It's not all the amazing national parks I've seen. Um, it's not the warm welcomes in the towns. Um, it is the people I've met who have become friends that I know I'll carry for life. The coolest thing about this journey is the people who've taken a week off work or however long it may be and come out and ride with us um, and then they go home and I know that they're gonna come back out and these people keep showing back up uh, and coming back out and riding with me you know multiple times they've become uh, what I refer to as my biker family. I'm talking about people like John of Indiana and uh, Diane Tudor and you know Roger and uh, you know uh, well we'll say zip code and throttle body um, porn fist, all these guys and girls are people that have uh, made a mark on my trip, uh, on my life. They've come out, they've spent time, they've helped any way they can while they've been with me. Um, just want to move the cause forward and have just become true friends. And it's cool because, you know, I'll go across the country. I've been coast to coast across the country five times. By next week, I'll start my sixth time uh, coast to coast on this country. And Every time I come back by their section of the country, no matter how high or low I am, they always seem to catch up and meet up and ride with me for, you know, whatever period of time they can. And some of them even went over and visited my dad, who's a quadriplegic, um, and runs all of our phones and everything, contacts all these dealerships, and just volunteers uh, countless hours uh, to making this thing possible. So, um, yeah, going out and visiting him, I mean, that just shows what kind of family that they've really become. Um, and, uh, you know, these are the connections that are meaning the most to me right now. Um, and the things that I needed and I think that the country is providing so uh, what goes around comes around I'm a firm believer in karma um, and I think that's why I get to experience the wonderful parts of this trip uh, I'm gonna let you guys go I just want to do a check-in it's been a while um, yeah maybe I'll do these more often we'll talk to y'all later bye